So here we have a continuous random variable called x that has a probability density function shown here 0.1 plus kx and that's defined in the interval 0 to 5. First question is what value should k take for this to be a proper density function? What do we mean by this? Now this random variable is defined on the interval 0, 05 and that means that the probability that we have an outcome in that interval should be equal to 1. Uh, graphically, that is the area underneath the PDF should be equal to 1. So how do we set up this problem formally? Well, the area underneath the PDF is the integral of fx dx and that should be equal to 1 if evaluated between 0 and 5. So we need to find the integrand of this function then evaluate that at 5 and subtract uh, the value evaluated at 0. And it should be pretty easy to see that this is uh, the integrand. Uh, we can add a constant, but we can also delete it because we'll add it and subtract it. So now we uh, plug in the 5. That'll be 0 0.1 times 5 plus k or times a half times 5 squared minus, and now the term evaluated at 0, but there's an x. If, that, if x is 0, that will be 0. Okay, so we subtract 0. And that should be equal to 1, so it's not an equal. So we can simplify that just a little bit. That's 0.5 plus k times 25 over 2 should be equal to 1. And we can solve this for k, um, jumping a couple of steps, but that will be 1 over 25. Okay, so k should be 1 over 25. If k is 1 over 25, then indeed f of x is a uh, probability density function. So let's state it um, because we will need it for the next question. So we have f of x is 0.1 plus x over 25 uh, when x is in, in the interval 0, 5, otherwise the density is 0. All right. second question is we should evaluate the expected value in the variance of this random variable defined by this PDF. So we know the expected value is the integral of fx times x dx again evaluated over the interval of the entire support of the random variable. So we need to find a new integrand, the integrand of fx times x. So it may be easiest to first check what that is, fx times x, that will be 0 0.1 times x plus 1 over 25 x squared. So what's the integrand of that? Again, that's not overly difficult. Uh, it should be easy to see that this is the integrand. And again, now we need we merely need to evaluate this uh, at the value x equals 5. So we plug in 5 and we get this and then we can again subtract 0 because if we subtract 0 we'll just get 0. So 25 over 20 is 5 fourth plus uh, that is 5 third and the common denominator is 12. So the result is 35 over 12. That's the expected value. Now does that make sense? That's about almost 3. So it's not a bad start because our random variable is defined in the interval 0, 5. So that's actually, look how this PDF looks like. That's actually a linear function, that PDF. At x equals 0, the value will be 0 0.1. And at x equals 5, the value will be 0 0.3. And it's linear in between. So this is the PDF. A rather unusual PDF. You'll see very few random variables like this. And here's about the expected value. That looks reasonable, or at least not counterintuitive. So let's hope the algebra is right. What about the variance of x? That is formally um, the uh, expected value of x minus expected value of x, and that's squared. Or alternatively, the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. So that's the nicer form because we've calculated part of that already that uh, ex, that's 35 over 12, so we'll use that later. And for the time being, all we need to solve is the expected value of x squared, and that's the integral of fx times x squared dx, again evaluated over the entire support, so that's 
0.1x squared plus 1 over 25 x to the 3 dx. So same as before, we need to find the integrand of that uh, function. And it's still pretty easy. That's 1 tenth uh, times the third times x to the power 3, 1 over 25 times 1 over 4 times x to the 4. And again, we plug in x equals 5 minus uh, plugging in x equals 0, but that will be 0 again. So we'll just plug in uh, x equals 5, so x to the 3 is 1, 2, 5, and x to 5 to the 4 is 6, 2, 5. And from now on, it's just uh, a little bit of calculator work, or perhaps we'll just write it down as slightly simpler. That's like this. The 300 is the common denominator, so expanded. So here we have 3125 over 300. That's the expected value of x squared. Now recall this was only a, a piece of the jigsaw. We wanted to calculate the variance of x. We already had uh, the expected value of x. And what we just did is we calculated the expected value of x squared that bit of the variance formula and we got this result so we just got to plug this back into the variance formula 3125 over 300 minus the expected value squared and now we just this is now calculator work so uh, get out your calculator and confirm that the result here is 1.9097 so it's the variance of X.